Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you the next part in the series of making the new Storyfronts watercolor illustrations. I already finished the whole series, I wanted to do at least 10 illustrations to make it a nice round number and I did. I finished the last one which is a car dealership and renting service. Recently you can see all the illustrations that I did in this series on my website and on my Behance account. You also can buy the prints on my imprint store. Most of the illustrations in this series were done based on your prompts, so on the ideas that you submitted here on YouTube comments, and I still have a long list on my Evernote account of shops that I would like to paint someday, and I also have a lot of my own ideas to paint, so when again I find that I want to do some shops, I have a full list to choose from, and I will probably do it. Because it was great fun to paint the shops from imagination. I was just able to do any design I wanted, to use any design element that I fancied from somewhere, from a real shop that existed or from a photo that I saw somewhere, so I had the creative freedom that I wanted. But even with this, painting 10 shops for now I think is enough. I want to keep this project fresh so it does not turn into this kind of weekly or daily thing that I have to sit and work on. Probably I'll divide this project into these short spans of attention where I paint like 10 shops and some additional illustrations maybe and then maybe when I finally gather enough material I can just make something from these. I think it's really important to kind of be conscious of what type of artist you are. So while you're doing your art projects, you have to think what kind of project suits you best. If you are this kind of person that wants to put little bricks into a bigger project for a year or two or three and feels best with a schedule, or if you are this kind of artist that wants to do something new every day and just the discovery process is the best part and learning something new and discovering something new is the best part. I'm probably somewhere along the second um, end of the spectrum. I like to do new things, I like to try new things, new tools, new ways of expression, uh, but also I'm always dragged into this way of thinking that a bigger project is something that matters so not only making one or two images and just moving to something new but making something bigger like a book or a comic or an animation is something worthwhile for me at least probably I'll have to just mix stuff up make 10 shops here and then move to a comic and then make another 10 shops and then move to an animation project or whatever and then make another 10 shops to keep my mind fresh and excited with the project the problem with this approach is of course that every time I'm going back to drawing or painting the shops I have to relearn a bit the process, I have to remind myself how did I do this? So the first shop that I paint is a bit wonky still but the next ones are better and better until the time that I feel already bored, like right now. So I'm moving to a new project which is a thing that I wanted to do this year, a storytelling thing with a comic this time, so that's a thing to look forward to. Okay, so about this picture, this is a small camera shop which sells retro film cameras and develops also the film. This is a shop that I completely made up, to be clear, but I used some elements from camera shops that I liked and especially from a camera shop that is really close to our house right now which had these awesome retro old signs still, so the Kodak sign and the Fujifilm sign and I wanted to use them in a picture so I kind of developed the rest of the idea around those signs and I also added stuff like the film can stand or the colorful marquee to match the whole design. I like the idea of a shop selling old things that can still be used and reused and resold and then bought again and just using old things to have fun again and giving them again meaning. So I like the stores that allow you to buy the things that otherwise would be thrown away, stores that fix them, stores that have stuff that can tell you about them and actually pick one that is a good match for what you would like to do. So they will tell you which camera to buy or which word processor or old computer to buy or old gaming device or whatever. And they have the knowledge to keep the thing going. 
So I would really like to see more of such shops in modern cities and especially in these kind of fancy districts that you go to to just buy stuff and have fun. As usual, with these illustrations I started with this concept I had for the store and then with some sketches, rough sketches with just my pencil in a sketchbook to decide how a store like this would look like. So I tried to put some things in front of the store, a stand maybe that would allow you to make a fancy photo of yourself as a geisha or whatever. I later quit that and, and just made a stand of a film can but it was a concept that I played with. And when I felt that I got kind of the look that I was aiming for, I then moved to the next step of a more detailed sketch and then a sketch on the final watercolor paper, line work with the Indigraph fountain pen with a waterproof ink and a color test in Procreate before coloring with watercolor. So this is a quite complicated process and on each step of this process I'm trying to get closer and closer to the image that I have kind of in my head. Well, not maybe that I have an image, like concrete image in my head, but I have an idea that I would like to get closer and closer to. And each step of this process allows me to refine the piece that I have to get it as close as I can. Okay, there's still a bit of the painting process video and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so doing all the details in the front window was the last step of painting the shop and I had a lot of fun trying to put old photos and old cameras in the shop window. Okay, so this is how the shop looks finished. I hope you liked the process. I had a lot of fun painting this one. I still have one more video recorded from this series and I'll upload it when I edit it, but you can already see all the finished illustrations on my website. Okay, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. As always, feel free to comment, share and subscribe, and you can also support me on Patreon. See you in the next one, bye!